Hey guys, today I came up with another competitive programming question that is bracket sequence. Now we can quickly go through the problem statement here. Uh, that is, uh, if they, they will be uh, giving you a, a bracket sequence as input, now uh, you should check for the balanced uh, bracket sequence in this given bracket sequence. You should find the maximum possible bracket sequence that is balanced balanced and also how many uh, possible how many uh, maximum length bracket sequences are possible in the given bracket sequence now uh, what is meant by balanced bracket sequence and un unbalanced bracket sequence balanced bracket sequence means there should be a opening brace for there should for every open opening brace there should be a closing brace closing brace after it now uh, if you see this example uh, for this open brace there is a closing brace at the end for this inner open brace there is a closing brace uh, consecutively after that uh, here also there is a open brace and close brace so it is a balanced balances if you uh, see, see in this example, <coughs> sorry, uh, you can see that uh, there is no open brace for this closed brace and uh, there is no closed brace for this open brace, right? So it is uh, imbalanced bracket sequence, right? Uh, you should find uh, the balanced bracket sequences like this in the given. Uh, given long bracket sequence as input and uh, you should uh, uh, search that uh, um, uh, what is the maximum bracket sequence length that is uh, balanced is possible and also how many uh, of them are possible which is of the same length same length <laughs> right uh, if you uh, if you see in this example that is shown on the screen uh, here how many brackets how many what is the maximum length of bracket sequence that is possible means uh, i will show you uh, one example here uh, yeah this is the maximum uh, length of bra uh, balanced bracket sequence that is possible because for this open brace there is a closed brace at the end again for this open parenthesis there is a closed parenthesis at the end for this open parenthesis there is a closed parenthesis after this open parenthesis right such that it is uh, bal uh, perfectly balanced uh, balanced parenthesis bracket sequence right again if you see here and this is only the maximum <coughs> length of a balanced bracket sequence right uh, what is the length of this bracket sequence it's one two three four five six right it's six so uh, maximum uh, possible bracket sequence that is balanced is possible is six then uh, here if you check means for this open brace open parenthesis there is a closed parenthesis here for this open parenthesis there is a closed parenthesis here for this open parenthesis there is a closed parenthesis here such that it is also a uh, balanced possible bracket sequence right and this is all this is also of the length one two three four five six right b six so uh, if you are you have got previously the maximum bracket sequence length as six so there is another bracket sequence with the same length so how many uh, same length brackets maximum bracket sequences are possible here that is two right now uh, such that you should print uh, uh, the output as uh, maximum value space number of uh, maximum uh, balanced bracket sequences that are possible with the same maximum length that is two right that's it this is the uh, given problem statement and if there is no 
balanced bracket sequence is possible in the given bracket sequence then you have to uh, return output as 0 space 1 <coughs> now uh, now we should uh, we can look at the logic behind this uh, you should iterate through every uh, bracket in the given bracket sequence and if you uh, uh, see bracket as open brace open brace when you are iterating then uh, you should assign um, index of that open brace through the to the top of the stack you else if you uh, seen any uh, closer bracket during the iter iteration and if the stack is not empty then you should apply this formula to get the uh, length of possible bracket sequence until that uh, iteration right uh, suppose uh, uh, here uh, let me clear this sorry yeah uh, let me clear this now uh, if you are in the <coughs> pardon me uh, if you are in the uh, iter fifth iteration means uh, you are at the fifth index fifth index uh, that is sixth iteration right uh, until this uh, what is the length of balanced parenthesis that is possible right uh, if you check uh, until this length this is the uh, length of balance uh, length of uh, bracket sequence that is balanced is possible balanced is possible that is one two three four right now uh, this uh, length you will get by applying this formula right uh, what is this formula you should uh, uh, you should take the list initially uh, with the uh, length of uh, given bracket sequence uh, and as a, initially you should assign all the list index values to zero then after that uh, you should uh, look at the index of uh, uh, <coughs> current closed brace then uh, you should uh, assign to the exact index of the closed brace in the list with the formula the formula that is index of current closed brace minus uh, stack of top that is a uh, top element in the stack plus one plus list of uh, this is uh, why we are adding this means uh, this is for checking the, uh, if there are any uh, consecutive sequences uh, with the current uh, bracket sequence means uh, if you means now you are checking uh, for this bracket sequence uh, this bracket sequence length is 2 uh, this previous bracket sequence also will be there right this will this length is 2 uh, for adding uh, this previous uh, bracket sequence length we are adding list of stack of top minus 1 stack of top is uh, some value uh, some value will be there right uh, for that you, if you do minus one and add it to this formula you will get the uh, previous uh, bracket sequence uh, possible possible balanced parenthesis bracket sequence length also it will be included to your current bracket sequence length such that uh, you can uh, you will get the length as length of possible um, bracket sequence as four right every time you should be updating the max value uh, with the current bracket sequence you are checking if the current bracket sequence uh, you are checking uh, if you get the balanced parenthesis uh, sequence uh, is greater than the previous uh, balanced parenthesis sequence length then you should update the max value with the current balanced parenthesis uh, bracket sequence length that's it <coughs> now uh, i will remove all these annotations and let's move for writing the code 
according to this by using this uh, logic now i am using python to write the code here now initially what we have to take the input uh, that is bracket sequence right that is in the form of string i am taking uh, bracket sequence in the variable b so input input is for inputting the string after that uh, you should convert uh, this uh, string input to the list of brackets for that uh, you should just write b equal to list of b it will convert to list of brackets after that uh, you should iterate <coughs> through each and every bracket in the given bracket sequence for that you should write a for loop for i in range 0 comma len of bracket sequence that is given that's it now uh, now uh, for calculate for uh, finding the maximum possible bracket sequence that is balanced uh, for that you should uh, initialize max to 0 and the count you should initialize to 1 then after that uh, now uh, first condition is if uh, the bra the bracket sequence of i i th uh, bracket is equal to equal to open brace that means what you should do if it is if it is equal to open brace first of all uh, you should take the stack variable right uh, i am taking uh, i am initializing uh, stack variable as s i am considering it as a list empty list and after that uh, i should take the uh, list list also right list equal to lst i am considering as a variable of list lst equal to i ha i have to initialize it to uh, zeros right so uh, up to uh, length of bracket sequence i am initializing the uh, every list index value to zero after that uh, if bracket bracket sequence of i equal to equal to open brace then what i should do i should st of means i should append the index of the <coughs> open brace to stack right so s dot append i if uh, that is if if the bracket is not open brace then what sh what i should do you should write elif condition here in the python <coughs> if a bracket of uh, sorry so okay okay it's okay if bracket of i equal to equal to closed brace and if the stack is not empty how you will check the if the stack is empty or not if uh, len len of yes means length of uh, list should not be equal to zero if it is equal to zero then stack is empty right now if uh, if this is the condition possible then what should what you should do you should apply the formula list of i equal to i minus stack stack variable is s <laughs> Uh, how you will get the top value of the stack in the python means uh, uh, means last value in the list that is uh, by uh, reverse indexing right uh, from, if you want to get the last value in the list you should come from minus one minus two. minus one is the last value minus two is the last but one value minus three is the last but but one value like that it will be continue that is reverse indexing now if we want the last value right so uh, i am give i am indexing it as s of minus 1 then plus 1 plus next uh, list of stack of top again it is asking for top means that is minus 1 minus 1 that's it after that uh, 
no uh, we have to uh, check for the maximum length possible uh, of the balanced bracket sequence right for that uh, you should write the if condition if list of i if list of i equal to equal to max means means pre max variable we have given as max right just i'm um, writing max i because uh, max is a inbuilt function right so we should not use inbuilt function uh, for inbuilt function names for variables that is the good practice right if the previous uh, if the current mag if the current uh, balanced parenthesis uh, length is equal to pre uh, previous maximum value means uh, maximum value maximum length that is present in our maxi variable then you should just increment the counter counter to counter plus one right else if that is not the condition means uh, if the current means uh, we can write elif condition here if the current possible maximum length is greater than our previous max value then uh, you should replace maximum value with current maximum value that is a list of i now uh, you should replace the counter to one because uh, uh, this is the new maximum value we get so uh, we will assign counter to one means this is the first occurrence of the of this particular length of the balanced bracket sequence right after this just you have to print the maximum value and the count of the ma maximum possible brackets maximum length bracket sequences in the given input string right now let us check with this custom input yeah we are getting to one right that is the desired output let us check with this sample input it's giving five to write something happened. yeah let us check with the custom test case with uh, base test cases test case zero is failing why is it why is it failing p of i equal to closer brace and i yeah yeah sorry for that uh, here uh, after calculating the uh, after calculating with this formula you should uh, remove the uh, open parenthesis that is used for um, used for balancing your uh, balancing with the with the current closed parenthesis right so uh, you should pop one of the open parenthesis index from the stack after calculating the formula now for popping the uh, top index from the stack uh, we should just write the syntax as stack dot pop next dot pop we have the pop function for the list that will remove the uh, last element from the list or last value from the list now let us run the code and check for the base conditions yeah congo it's satisfying two base test cases now let us check for the hidden test cases if the hidden test cases is, are passed then we are we are we are successfully completed our best logic to be written for this code yeah we have been successfully completed our code with the passing all the hidden test cases also